Here's how to use tables for dynamic references in your formulas in Excel. Here, we have two sets of the same data, but for one of them, we'll create a table. So let's start by selecting the data, then go to the Insert tab and click on the Table command. After that, we'll confirm by clicking OK, and this will convert our data into a table. Next, let's give our table a proper name. We'll go to the Design tab, where the table is currently named Table 5 by default. Let's change that to Sales and press Enter. Now, our table is named Sales. Let's see what happens when we reference this table in a formula. We'll create a sum formula for our sales values and press Enter. Now, let's do the same thing with the data set that is not inside a table and reference the sales values there. If we later add new data to this non-table data set, we'll need to manually update the formula by editing the range reference to include the new values and then pressing Enter to update the total. However, with the table, all we have to do is add the new data directly into the table and our formula will automatically update to include it. Here, you can see that we're referencing the sales column inside our sales table by name. And when we add new data to the table, it's automatically included in the formula reference.